When we got to Argentina, I left the deck crew and joined the IT, the Intensive Training Programme for Christian Leadership. There was 12 of us, and it was anything as unto the Lord, whatever the Lord said to us through the leader. So, I was asked to go and put posters up in the shop windows of the ship, advertising the ship. These huge, great, big A6 posters. I had sellotape and scissors with me. But in those days, in 1978, if you broke the law, you didn't go to court, you disappeared. Many people, thousands disappeared. So everybody was afraid of the police. When they gave the job to the right person, I'm sticking these posters up in the shop windows. All the shopkeepers are saying yes, not thinking for one minute that I hadn't had permission to do it. They assumed I'd doing it because I've got permission. So they're saying yes, because they've never let me do it. And then this CID officer comes and he's trying to stop me doing it. And I'm saying, no entiendo, but I'm speaking Spanish to him, i.e. I'm telling him I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> but I'm speaking Spanish to him, telling him I don't speak Spanish. And then he showed me, he called over a man and the man didn't speak any, any English at all. And the man's shaking, he's frightened. So the man went off and so he showed me his uh, warrant card with his photograph. Oh, muy bueno, muy bueno. Lovely photo, lovely photo in Spanish. In the end, he gave up and let me carry on. <laughs> and then on another occasion, I was asked to go out with a sandwich board, which is a picture of the ship on the front and on the back of this big board over my shoulders. So he got a picture on the front and on, the, on my back of the ship and advertising it with a young Swedish lad called Aki Bargville. And we were giving out tracks in the main square in Buenos Aires. And I saw this policeman looking at me. So I became very ostentatious, giving out the tracks in a very ostentatious manner, letting him know I wasn't bothered. So he went away. Then he came back. I hadn't noticed he'd come back, but Arky had noticed and started getting very furtive and started hiding all the tracks. Hide the tracks, Alan. There's a policeman watching us. As soon as he started showing furtiveness, the policeman came over to arrest us because he saw fear. So he's now taking us to the police station and he says to me, Alan, Alan, take that sandwich board off you. I said, no, I'm not taking it off. I want everybody to know why I'm being arrested. And I walked all the way to the police station with the sandwich board on. We went inside the police station and they, they've they um, gone in to see the CDI, C, uh, the uh, chief officers, the CD officers, and um, they're handing around a track. And Arky says to me, Alan, I think we better pray. So I started praying out loud, yes, Lord, save these police, because they read this tract in English. <laughs> He's shocked. They call me the CDI, CD, CDI office, the, the CD people, and they wanted to see the back, and I made out I didn't understand, and they went like that, so I knew I couldn't fake it anymore. So I, like a model, I'd, I'd wiggled my tit, uh, uh, hips and, and spun right round like this. And they, they laughed their heads off and sent me away. <laughs>